Bueno, here we are in the cellars of Bodega Weinert, um, and we will taste Calas de Weinert. If you see in my background, this is the background who gave his picture to this wine, which is also learned because this wine is like our philosophy wine. It's a flagship wine of Bodega Weinert. It's a cask selection, and the, the, the picture with the cask represents also a part of the philosophy of this wine. We will taste three different harvests. We will have the actual one, available, which is 2004. Then we have the same wine, but from 1994, so 10 years older. And then we have a dusty one, 1977, will be 35 years old this year. And we will see a little bit uh, how this wine evolves in two steps, aging process from the actual harvest back to the origins of the winery. Okay, let's open the balls. Ninety four, nineteen seventy seven. If you look near the glasses, you can see there is some evolution, not as much from two thousand four to the 94, but 1977 already has a little bit more brown tones in the glass. You can see. Okay, then tasting the wines. 2004, nice dark color. A lot of fruit, not dominated from one of the three grapes is compounding this wine. Um, this blend, 2004, is a blend of 40-40-20, which is used since 1999. None of the grapes is dominating the flavor in the nose. You have plum from the Malbec, black currant from the Cab, and red berries from the Molo are well harmonized together with spices, chocolate, tobacco. Pouring very nicely in the glass. And the wine on the palate is entering very softly, round, soft, round, velvety tannins. And it's one of the things uh, always fascinating about this wine is the length. And the length not only in tannins or acidity in structure, but also fruits going on and evolving in the, on the palate. Then the 1994. 1994 was a blend of dominated by cab. It's a 45 cab, 40 Malbec and 15 Merlot. It's slightly also in the nose dominated by calf flavors as a little bit um, resin oriented which is a very clear definition of uh, aging Cabernet Sauvignon the palate also has this brown as well with the long finish less fruit obvious than the 2004 Less fresh fruit, but a lot of dry fruits, figs, dry apricots, chocolate, dry plum from the Malbec part, which is still present. And it was very nice on the palate. Now the third one, the 1977, as I told before, you, always, you already can see a browner tone, but still for a 35-year-old wine, will be next month, 35 years old. It's very good conditions. It's not 
falling down the color, it's just a little bit brighter, a little bit more brown tones. Then also we have a lot of um, evolution flavors, uh, primary flavors, fruity berries and so on are completely gone, but the harmony of incense, dry um, chocolate, tobacco, is, etc. Is, is very present, a lot of soft spices. Also here the same basic entry for the same wine, for, for the three wines, this round entry, soft, velvety tannins, and then in harmony with the nose, going on in the palate with these wonderful flavors. Mm -hmm.